Hypothetically, how would you feel sitting in an oven that's slowly heating up? Okay, that sounds like a little bit of a silly question, and you probably think it'll just never happen, but we can assure you it will, and you won't even realize it. It's almost the year 2022, and the Earth is getting warmer by the day. If we don't do something about it, it is bound to get worse as the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is increasing due to the use and overuse of fossil fuels and also non-renewable energy sources. So, the main solution is to go green by using renewable energy sources like solar power that can then be converted to electricity, and electricity can be used to power basically everything. This means all the cars can run on electricity produced by renewable energy sources like solar power or wind power, which will reduce the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. And then you won't have to sit in the oven for the rest of your life. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to tell you about how exactly electric vehicles work. So let's get started, shall we? The electric vehicle works on three basic components, which are an energy storage unit, a controller, and a propulsion system. Let's go into detail one by one. It can be one of the most important parts of an electric vehicle comparable to the gasoline tank. Different types of electric vehicles have different batteries, which produce different power. So one can have multiple options to choose from. Battery electric vehicles don't pollute the environment because they don't have a tailpipe. However, the power they utilize may emit high temperature gases and other pollutants at the point of generation or during fossil fuel extraction. The quality of pollution created is determined by the method used to generate power. In the United States, battery electric vehicles charged from the dirtiest, coal-dominated grid nonetheless emit fewer pollutants than petroleum vehicles. Battery electric vehicles that run on renewable energy sources like wind or solar produce almost no emissions. These cars are also substantially less expensive to fuel than traditional automobiles since they don't use petrol or diesel. Exact comparisons vary based on vehicle design and fuel costs, but driving battery electric vehicles may save drivers over a thousand bucks per year on gas. The electricity charges are quite low compared to the tax amount and it never goes on purification of gasoline. So electric vehicles are not just environmentally friendly, but cost effective as well. Battery electric vehicles, like all electric and hybrid cars, save energy by shutting off the car while it's in stationary, which is termed as idle off, and charging the battery when braking, which is termed as regenerative braking. In tests, electric motors are also much more power efficient than petrol or diesel engines on a fundamental level. Another significant advantage of battery electric cars is the ability to recharge them at home. A car may be charged overnight using a 240 volt outlet, similar to those used for dryers. Most cars on a single full charge can be driven for about 70 to 100 miles, which is greatly efficient considering it's just one charge and it'll most likely get you from, you know, to and from work or to the grocery store. A growing number of public and workplace charging stations are available, providing more charging capacity. One thing all drivers feel is the torque provided by the internal combustion engine, which is in lockstep, meaning it increases and decreases in discrete steps, avoiding the continuous and smooth ride. But on the other hand, electric motors provide torque almost instantaneously. If you compare traditional gasoline vehicles and electric vehicles, you will surely feel the advanced acceleration and the zip. In electric automobiles, the energy storage system is in the form of a battery. Depending on whether or if the vehicle is an all-electric AEV or a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle PHEV, the battery type may differ. The current battery technology is built to last quite a long time. It can be simplified as about 8 years or around 100,000 miles. In mild climatic environments, certain batteries may even survive 11 to 14 years, whereas in harsher climates, yeah, they go for that 7 to 10. Lithium ion Nickel metal hydride, lead acid, and ultra capacitors are the four primary types of batteries used in electric cars. The system which is responsible to move the vehicle in some direction is known as the propulsion system, which is quite advanced thanks to the power electric technology which allowed the significant development in this area. Power switching devices, power conversion architecture with its switching method, and the motor's sealed control method make up the power electronic system. For the advancements of effective and high-performance vehicles, the selection of power semiconductor devices, inverters, microcontrollers, shifting techniques are very important, and system integration is critical. Obtaining a high-efficiency, 
durable, small size and low cost inverter and also accompanying electronics for managing a three phase electric machine is well, a chore. As the vehicle travels for long distances and a fast speed, heat is generated in the electrical system, which is known as the thermal cycle. A thermal cycle with heavy vibrations must be effectively tolerated by all electronic circuits. To power a three-phase AC motor, all contemporary EVs and HEVs employ a three-phase bridge inverter design to convert the battery's DC voltage to variable voltage and variable frequency. The architecture implemented in all electric cars is the three-phase hard-switching bridge inverter. There are multiple types of propulsion systems depending on the vehicle or its uses. There are electric vehicle, PEV, you know, you got all those. Or, in extreme conditions, there's also a nuclear-powered vehicle, in case you've got some, you know, uranium or plutonium lying around. Now, we all know where the energy is stored and how the energy is converted into the speed to move forward. But we all know that energy without control will just make a huge old mess. So for that, we have a high-end controller system. And when we say high-end, it's just as common as the mobile phone you're handling right now or probably, maybe you're on your laptop. But on a large scale, let us understand the brain of an electric car. The master controller is a combination of microcomputing elements and power electronics. The master controller helps the conversion of electricity stored in batteries to torque quite efficiently. It also connected to throttle, brakes, and even forward slash reverse gears. So whatever command you as the driver give to the vehicle goes to the master controller. As we saw, the master controller consists of multiple microcomputing chips. Even the slightest input provided by you is addressed and instantly acted upon. This is how electric vehicles end up victorious due to smooth and sensitive rides. Master Control also has access to the brakes of the vehicle, so when the vehicle is at a high speed and the brakes are pushed, the power is then immediately reversed from the motor back to the batteries, which make the vehicle stop with the immediate effect and, you know, saving you from the jerkiness with this ability provided by the microcontroller, it's pretty life-saving and commonly known as regenerative braking. The braking energy is stored back in the battery and life can be enhanced. Imagine charging the battery just by braking a whole bunch of times. It's fun to imagine, although we don't recommend it exactly. So this is how electric vehicles work without producing any harmful gases or pollutants. It's just an elegant dance between battery, controller and propulsion system. Just by driving these vehicles instead of conventional fossil fuels, you'll be able to save a good portion of the planet and finally be able to get out of that oven or take everyone else out of the oven. Or plan B, you can just rush Elon to get to Mars. Do it. Call him. Call him right now. You don't have his... Anyways, as of now, that doesn't look like it's going to happen in the near future, so we got to stick to plan A and use electric vehicles. Save the world we have. Remember, driving electric vehicles isn't just eco-friendly, but also cost-effective. So before we leave, if you wish to save our precious planet, then please share this video as much as you can. Like it, comment which of you already have an electric car, hate on each other's mom, subscribe to the channel, and become eco-friendly by using electric vehicles. All those things are important. Later.